So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something I've wanted to do for a while. I hope it works. <laughs> I want to take these cranks and etch uh, a design in them. Even though we're just getting started, I haven't even prepped the cranks. I did quite a bit of work already that I'm not going to be showing on camera. I spent the evening last night drawing up designs of what I wanted to try to etch on these cranks. One of the books I quite like is a book um, by James Baldwin called The Story of Siegfried. And in that, Siegfried forges a sword and slays a dragon. But that's beside the point. So last night I took a while looking at different designs and chose a couple designs that I felt like I could recreate. I spent a bunch of time drawing these out on my iPad so that I could transfer them then to my Cricut and cut out these designs. And then the plan is to etch the aluminum in this pattern using the vinyl from the Cricut to mask the parts that I don't want to etch. So that was all great and everything until I printed them on the Cricut and cut out the designs. I was able to get the, the non-drive side crank and it turned out well enough that I felt like I could make it work. The drive side though, I had a lot of issues where the design was just too intricate. And so in trying to pull it apart, I, I lost a lot of the detail that I wanted to, to keep. And so I had to redo it. So I redid the design. You can see here, it's a lot less complex than this original drawing that I did. Um, I reduced the amount of detail on the dragon mainly and some of the smoke and made it so I felt like I could make it work. And I was able to get that to work. And so I have the vinyl ready to go. It's time now to prep the cranks.
Now, with the cranks ready, I'm gonna mix up some vinegar and salt solution. The ratio is about one cup vinegar to one teaspoon of salt, but I'm just gonna estimate it. I'm gonna put in a little bit of vinegar, iodized salt. Mix it up. All right, so the plan is I've got a power supply here. I'm gonna set it up for 12 volts. I have a little piece of lamp wick here that I'm gonna use, soak it in the, the vinegar solution. I've got the positive end of the power supply connected to the crank arms and the negative with the etchant. Soak this. Turn on the power supply and nothing's happening. We aren't getting current through.
And with that, I think I'm done. So I'm happy with how this ended up. It was a good first attempt. There's several things I think I can do better. Etching it longer. It definitely worked better to put the Aluma Black on before I took off the vinyl. In any case, I quite like it. It was fun. Next time, I think I'll see about etching it longer. Um, I could have tried putting it in a bath and totally submerge, um, submerging it, but then I would have, I was worried about sealing it in completely, uh, the parts that I don't want etched, and I don't want to ruin any threads, but I, I like how this turned out. I think they look cool. It's definitely something I could try more of. I'd also like to try actual engraving instead of just this etching. There's some cool things that you can do. Other ways you can mask also and maybe draw it in like in paint or in like nail polish or something like that. But super cool. A good way to give some unique new life to some old cranks. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things new life. And I'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Go slay some dragons.